Good morning students take the page number 23 so have you all completed this activity yes yes the next one is here quick tips select all the rows and columns while sorting the data so sorting means it is used to arrange arrange the data in ascending order or in descending order okay you can arrange your names or uh, stationary items anything okay arrange the data in ascending order or descending order for sorting the data you need to select all the rows and columns which you have created as a table okay which you have created a table you need to select all the rows and columns on selecting a single row or column a window will appear asking for permission to extend the selection for example suppose you are selecting a single row or a single column maybe a single row or a single column a pop up box will appear like this to extend the selection or the current selection or cancel for uh, for if i need to extend the selection uh, means then uh, we need to select the entire row or a column or to select the entire table you can use this option extend selection for current selection if you need to select the current uh, the row or a column you have which you have already created a single row or a column to last that current selection only you can use this option or else you can cancel this option also okay if you need to extend the table selection of the rows and columns you can use this or you can use the current selection you can use this option or else you can cancel it okay the next one is creating a list skill time 2 is creating a list using functions okay let us know help aditi find the total amount of money she spends for buying each written gift so here we need to help aditi to find the total amount of money to spend for buying a gift okay so here for example the total amount to be spent on pens so here we are calculating the amount spent on pens equal to cost of a single pen into number of pens number of pens okay okay here cost of the single pen is taken as 10 and the quantity i mean how many pens total number of pens is also 10 so when we multiply 10 into 10 we get 100 okay to perform such simple calculations or even more complex one in a spreadsheet we can use functions okay we can use function to to calculation for calculations okay so here this is already existing table here the amount column is added and the total row is also added here you have added amount and the total so here we need to calculate the amount amount spent for pen pencil eraser chocolate geometry box sharpener and then orange candy so we need to multiply the total number of pens and the cost of a single item okay total number of the item and the cost of the single item so here we can use the function as so here i need to enter equal to i need to uh, i need to multiply these two options quantity how much and the next one is price of the per piece so here this is c column c 2 first i need to put as c 2 and then then i need to multiply okay i need to multiply it and the price of the per piece is here d column second row so d2 okay c2 into d2 and the next one is pencil pencil here how can you do this equal to i need to and once you enter this you need to press the enter button then the amount will apply like this okay the next one is equal to here c the row is 3 c 3 into and this d 3 so what will be the answer here the amount is 10 into here 
10 into 5 is 50. Okay, the answer is 50. Like this here, calculator. And the next one, here we need to find the total amount. So, how to find the total amount? We need to add this. We need to add these amounts. So, in here, this cell I need to enter as equal to adding. So, sum of from where to where? Here to here. Okay. So, here this is which column? E. E. 2. Row is 2. Colon. Up to where? Here. E. Row is 8. And then you press enter. The amount will enter as 830. Okay. Here is also the same process. Here also they need to add the um, number. So equal to sum of adding. So a sum of. Here this is starts from C2 to C2 colon. Up to C8. So after entering this the amount will display as. The total number will display as 70. Okay. Like that for maximum, average and minimum. So I will enter here for addition. Okay, for addition. If I need to add the numbers, use the formulas equal to sum of. I will take as uh, example as C2 to C8. This is just an example but the procedure is equal to sum of. And the next one is multiplication. Equal to, if I need to add, uh, multiply two numbers means I can use D2 into E2. This is just an example. And then, maximum to find the maximum value i can use the formula as function as max of this is also example c2 to c8 okay if i need to find the minimum value equal to minimum of c2 to c8 and the last one is average Equal to average of C2 to C8. Okay. This is the formula. Okay. And here, here you can see. Tick the correct option for the following questions. Which function is used to add numbers in LibreOffice Calc? Which function is used to add the numbers? Sum. Okay, which function is used to find the maximum value from the given numbers in the calc? Which function is used to find the maximum value? Max. And the next one is, which is the shortcut for the function wizard in LibreOffice Calc? Which shortcut key is used to find the function wizard in LibreOffice Calc? Control plus F2. Okay, and which is the correct formula to multiply a number in 61? By a number in D1, sorry C1, by a number in D1 in LibreOffice Calc. First you need to put equal to and then you need to enter the C1 number and then you need to put the symbol multiply and at last you need to enter the D1. So here answer is this. Okay. okay. Thank you.